Hello, guys. Uh, today's session we are going to discuss about the SQL, how to open the SQL, how to access the SQL, and uh, let's see the component of the SQL. And uh, we discuss about the user interface of the SQL. So let's open the first SQL. So you have to open the SQL Server Management Studio in your PC. Open it. <coughs> So we are going to discuss about in brief about the SQL software, how can you going to operate the SQL software step by step and how can you proceed for the practical aspect as well. So let's see, now you can see guys my SQL is open. So once you open SQL, it, uh, the one dialog box appeared in front of you, uh, connect to server. So as you can see, you have to simply click on the connect. Once you open the first time, you can see here encryption and you have to tick mark this checkbox trust server certification and click on the connect once you open the sql anytime this dialog box will come and simply you have to click on the connect and then you can proceed so as you can see the user interface of the sql guys this is object explorer here we can explore each of the component regarding the databases that's why it is called object explorer like databases so how many databases you created say we are able to explore each of the component clicking on the simply you have to click on the plus icon so see database dks tba see the table option once i click in the table option i can see how many tables we created in our dks dba today see these are the table inside it so each of the component we are able to explore like uh, in employee details i'm able to see as well how many columns how many keys we used it so as you can see column so i'm able to see the number of column i've already you created in a employee details table right and uh, this is the primary key as well as you can see the key sign here so key sign represents this is a primary key p k p k means primary key f k means foreign key okay <coughs> constraint triggers once we go for the trigger indexes i'm able to see the indexes as well see by default cluster index is created in the index directories i mean folders so you are able to explore each of the component here you can see the user interface like uh, once i close object explorer simple i come to the view click the object explorer even you can use the function key f8 so in that case it will come to this i can close once you need you can open it here you can see the tools window help new query option once you click on the new query option, you are able to see the query editor where you can write the queries. Okay, it's loading now. Just wait for a moment. Okay, now it's open it. So here, this is a master database list. You can see by default master display in the database. Once you create your own, you can replace the master. So always keep in mind, once you create a database, you have to use your own database. Otherwise, master will going to take your own database. Okay, so always be sure which one database you are working on that. Okay. Once I proceed further, it will more clear. So now see execute button. Even you can press F5 to execute the query, right? So <coughs> here are the comments and on comment. Obviously, once we are writing any code, so we have to write the comment first. After comment, we have to proceed. Why we are writing comments? Once you are writing comment, guys, you will make sure what you does basically here, right? So comment can explain what it does in your queries. You get to my point. So once you write any query, you have to write the comments first. Like uh, two time hyphen, you can see. So once I click here, see comments. But we have to write only two times, so you can type manual as well, right? And you can uncomment also. See comments, and here you can see uncomment. So it's better you can simple type as well. Two time hyphen. That's it. Okay. So uh, this is a basically tool we are going to use and forward which one is going to require it in future. So I will explain. So now let's see how to proceed. So I'm going to proceed first. DDL and DML statement. DDL create, alter, drop and truncate. DML insert, update, delete. So we are going to see practically how to proceed. So I'm writing here how to create database to create data base okay i'm writing a simple how 
to create database using the DL statement. So in DDL, simple create alter. Just for understanding, I'm writing alter draw and generate. Okay. Clear? Yeah, just for the information, I mentioned it. Once you work in company, guys, you have to also write it so so more clarity for your code. Create for your query as well, database and database. Suppose I given here database school. You can create any one. Okay. And simply you have to. I mentioned here DKS, DKS dentist school. Underscore for the space. You cannot give the blank space here. Let's run this. Execute. Otherwise, you can place F5 as well. So, see guys, command completed successfully. Then, still master display, you can see. So, I have tried this command. Use DKS school. Case underscore school. Guys, all we remember as well is not case sensitive. You can write capital, small, anyone, no issues. F5, command completed successfully. So now see DK, yes, student display in the drop down list of the database. Right? <coughs> so once you open your file, guys, all we remember, like suppose you open next day. So first of all, you have to execute this command, then proceed for your work. Okay? Otherwise, master will go to take it. So next one, how to create table in database, okay. So how to create table in a database, okay. So there is one database, in the one database you can complete your entire project table. Regarding your project, you can complete all the table. So I'm writing here create table, table name like a A student details okay. parenthesis bracket you have to open and define the column. So here I give like a student ID in case data type primary. You can write not null as well as optional because primary key never support null value. A student name like I took it care data type. So suppose I given whatever size you have to mention here right and you have to simple execute it. F5 command completed successfully as you can see I want to see my table so select asterisk means all from table name. Table name is what student details. So simple select and run this. Okay. So that's it in this video. Okay, thank you so much. So you learn how to create database and table. Thank you so much guys. See you next video.